Hello and welcome. Please read this problem and try it on your own. Okay, so here they want us to solve algebraically for x. So in this problem, 4x squared minus 12x equals 7. So when I set this up, my first step is to get 0 on one side. So I subtract 7 over here. It's the easiest approach for doing that. We have 4x squared minus 12x and then minus 7 equals 0. At this stage right here, I notice that I can't divide everything by 4, and that the factoring of this might be kind of tricky uh, to do it directly. So what I want to use is the quadratic equation, um, which directly completes the square. Right? So, so here we have, which solve for x using completing the square. So we have a and b and c. These are the three things we need to know in order to apply the quadratic formula, which of course says that x equals negative b plus or minus the square root of b squared minus 4ac over 2a. So here, what are a, b, and c? Well, a is the coefficient of x squared, b is the coefficient of, of x, it's negative 12, and c is the constant all by itself, negative 7. So then we plug it into our equation right here. Negative b just means the opposite of whatever b you're given. Since we're given a negative 12 already, the negative b value is just 12. Plus or minus, well, b squared is negative 12 squared, or 144. Minus 4 times 4 times negative 7. We'll evaluate that. All over 2 times 4, which is 8. So we have x equals 12, plus or minus, well here we're going to have 144 plus 112. 4 times 4 times 7 is 112, and we're adding because of we're subtracting a negative product, right? This is all over 8. Keep going here. We get x is equal to 12, plus or minus the square root of 256, a nice perfect square, all over 8. And here, we can start to split things up. So x is going to equal what? Well, 12 plus the square root of 256 is 16, all over 8. Or x could equal 12 minus 16 over 8, right? Because we have the plus or minus the positive or negative square root of 256. So then we, we finish. We have x equals 28 over 8. If we reduce that, it's 14 over 4. If we reduce that again, it's 7 over 2, which is 3 and a half. And here we have 12 minus 16, which is negative 4 over 8 which is negative one half. So these are the two values of x that when you plug into the equation, balance it. You can try it, plug them in, plug in three and a half. Plug in negative one half to test it out and you will see that both sides of this equation do balance out. Thanks.